Miss Jordan, and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Since it's my booktube anniversary, I can't, I honestly can't believe it's been a year since I've started my booktube channel. I still feel like a newbie, but I'm really excited about this, and I'm wearing my bell shirt, holding a bunch of books, and I'm, I just thought it would be perfect for this occasion, so let's get started. So I'm on Twitter here, and the first question is, what is your favorite book of all time? Um, that's the hardest question to answer because I love a lot of books. I would have to say, um, as of right now, I can um, think of three. One is Peter Pan, one is Harry Potter, and one is The Hunger Games. And the next question is, if you could eat lunch with a character, who would it be and why? Huh, that's that's a, also a good question. I would pick Hercule Poirot because um, he is a funny guy and, and he's a detective, so I thought it would be really interesting to have a lunch with a fictional detective, and plus I would like to have him see how mysterious I am. I don't know, I just would love to have lunch with one of Agatha Christie's characters, which is Hercule Poirot. The next question is, is from Rocky from Blonde with a Bug, one of my good friends on BookTube, and she asked, what's your favorite video you've ever made? This is a really tough question. I really enjoyed uh, making uh, the two original book tags that I did, which was a Latin um, Broadway book tag, and the other one is um, 90s Disney book tag, which I'll link them down below. And I just had fun creating them. I literally had trouble coming up with some of the questions, so I had my family and my boyfriend to help me out, so that's one of them. I also liked... Um, let me see, what, what other video that I like making? I like, I just enjoy doing different book tags because they're all unique and some of them, I really enjoy the TBR one because I counted all the books on my TBR which was over 100, whoops, so I just need to try to narrow them down even, I'm not, I don't want to on haul some of them because I want to read a lot of them, so I would try to read all of them as much as I can. And I really liked on um, one video that I confessed that I was a fangirl because I'm a fan of a lot of things, so I enjoyed that. And I can't think of any other videos that I really enjoyed making. And the next question is, what's your favorite thing about the book um, about book two besides the community? I just love how I have more bookish friends than my friends in real life because um, I just love talking about books and that's why I want to start my channel and I'm just passionate about reading and I wanted to share it to everybody that's why I started my channel and I also like how everybody is supportive of each other I know that kind of counts as um, the community but I also what I love about it is um, People talk about more books than the, um, the popular ones um, because when I was in high school, I've read um, books that are mostly popular, not um, the underrated books. I stay away from those in high school. But but then um, after I found out about BookTube, I found out more about other books besides the ones that are popular, and I'm really grateful for that because I don't know why I would do if I didn't discover these books without BookTube. So yeah. <laughs> And the next question is, is from Hannah from Hannah Books of Things, and she said, and she asked me what's my favorite movie. That's a hardest, another hardest question to answer. Hannah, I know I did that to you when you did my original book tag, 90s Disney book tag, if you're watching this. I know I came up with the hardest questions for you, but this is hard for me. I would have to say, like, the ones that I've watched since I was a kid besides Disney movies, um, one of my favorites is The Princess Bride. I actually watched that since I was four years old. I didn't know it was based on a book before I watched a movie. Um, and then if I'm talking about Marvel, my favorite is Spider-Man Homecoming because Tom Holland and I grit and Spider-Man was actually the first um, Marvel um, superhero movie that I've actually watched with my dad when I was a kid and Spider-Man just became one of my favorite superheroes ever since. And, um, I just like a lot of movies, um, besides, like, the ones I'm fan of, like, Disney and, um, Marvel and, and of course, Harry Potter's one of my favorite 
movies of all time. And if you, if in case you're wondering, the third one is my favorite overall, same as the book. So, yeah, this was the hardest question for me to answer. And the next question is: Is there a book that you've drastically changed your opinion? on over the years. I would have to say Twilight. I know I loved Twilight when I was in middle school and it was um, really popular then, but I don't think I liked it. Um, I wouldn't have liked it now than it, I was then, but I refused to unhaul it because Twilight has been a big part of my life before The Hunger Games, so like thanks to The Hunger Games, I'm more a fan of that than Twilight, so I'm still, I still like Twilight, but if I'm gonna reread it, I know I'm not gonna like it. But I would reread it because of Jacob, because I've been Team Jacob since um, Twilight was popular, and I think he would, would have been a better choice than Edward. Sorry for Team Edward if you're still a fan of Twilight. I've just been a Jacob fan, so yeah, and plus Alice is one of my favorite, from, favorite characters from Twilight, because I want to be, um, be best friends with her, and then I would just date Jacob. Yeah, so that's my answer. And the next question is, if you could be any book character, who, who would you be, and why also happy booktube anniversary? Thank you, mystery day with a book. Um, I would say Hermione because I want to hang out with all the characters from um, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter because I think I, I just love the, the world and I want to hang out with everybody at Hogwarts, plus I would like to have Professor McGonagall as my uh, professor because she's one of my favorites and and if Remus was still a um, um, defense of dark, against dark arts teacher, I would love to have him as my teacher because he's been one of my favorite Harry Potter characters since he was introduced because he was so mysterious and you just want to know more about him and um, yeah and plus I want to read at the, um, the Hogwarts library because I know how big it is plus I want to read all of the books from there, so that's my answer to this question. And I'm almost losing my train of thoughts there. The question is uh, from the, a Baron B books. Um, your favorite fairy tale villain? That's a really good question. I think the Sea Witch is one. My favorite is because she made the Little Mermaid give up one thing that was a big part of her life to be with the friend, prince that she fell in love with. I don't think I would sacrifice anything. That's been a big part of my life for love by me. I love my boyfriend. Don't get me wrong. I love my boyfriend. It's just I don't think I would give up reading or writing for anything. Because that's been a big part of my life. And I don't want to give up on either of those things. So that's why I chose her. Because of you can't. Um, she, the little Murray sacrificed one thing that was a big part of her life for the guy. So. I pick the sea witch as of right now. And the next question is, what prompts you to become a creator with a channel centering around books? And I already talked about this in the beginning of this video. I just love talking about books, and I want to share my passion with my passion of reading to everybody. And if you met one of my friends from high school, they know I've been passionate about reading since I'm a big reader, and they always go up to me for book recommendations. So I kind of got them into reading even though they're not big readers but they always ask me for book recommendations because they know I'm a big reader so I like and I give them book recommendations and then they read the books that I recommend and I'm just I and then people say like why don't you work at the bookstore because you're good at book recommend giving book recommendations so I'll be like yeah maybe I should work at a bookstore like Barnes & Noble because I want the discount but um, I mean who knows? We'll see, but I definitely enjoyed making booktube videos because I, um, cause I love talking about books to everybody and, and everybody who knows me, they know I talk about reading, so they know I'm passionate about reading. <laughs> Last few questions, this is from The Lawn Gnome, and he gave me a lot of questions that relates to Disney, so I'm gonna try to finish up from here, and he, and he said, who are your favorites in the following category? Favorite Disney hero? Oh, that's going to be hard. I think I, I like the Beast because, not because of his library, but I just love how he decided to change for the one that he 
loves, I guess I pick him. I don't know, there's just so many Disney um, heroes that I like. I'm just picking one of the Disney princesses because of I they're considered Disney heroes. And the next one is favorite Disney villain. Other than Captain Hook, guest on. I just love how stupid he is and he just wouldn't take no as an answer even though LeFou keeps saying, why don't you go after other girls? And he's like, no, Belle's the one for me. <laughs> I just, he just makes me laugh because of his stupidity and I don't think I would think of any other Disney villains that I like other than Gaston, but um, I don't think I would pick Prince Hans. He's the, I, I just hate Hans. I know other people, I'm not sure if I'm the only one who hates Hans from Frozen, but I just think he, he was a, um, a, a stupid guy who just wants a crown and that's why he's a surprise villain. I'm just, please don't send me hate comments on that. And who is um, my favorite um, Disney hero? Sidekick. Ooh, I'm, I'm not sure who's my favorite sidekick. I don't think I ever think of it. I guess Jiminy. I really don't know. This is really hard. I don't usually pay attention to uh, which um, Disney hero sidekicks is my favorite. I guess I pick Jiminy Cricket. I just, I really don't know. I just, I don't know who's my favorite. I guess Abu. I really, <laughs> this is really hard to answer. I'm just going with Jiminy Cricket because um, he helps Pinocchio with everything. And a favorite Disney villain sidekick. Huh. I also did think of that. Um, I guess LeFou because no one, I don't know. I don't, I don't know who the pick for those two. I'm just going along with what's on top of my head. I guess LeFou for favorite Disney villain sidekick. And another one is um, favorite Disney animal companion. Oh, that's a good one. I think I like horses. Like Maximus, I he's just really funny, and I and I, plus I love horses. That's one of my favorite animals. Even though dolphins are my favorite, um, huh? I I I'm just picking Maximus because I just would love him as a a pet. If um, anybody asks um, who I uh, why I would pick my who I would pick as um, which Disney animal I would pick as a pet, I would pick Maximus because. I just love him, plus he's really funny, and plus he acts like a dog, and, a, and he's a horse, so I just love him to death. <laughs> so that's all for my q and I know I didn't answer a lot of questions, but I'm going to be doing more Q&As in the future. If you want me to do more Q&As, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll figure out when I can do a next one. Probably not next month, because I'll be really weird to have Q&As in every month, but I will probably do them in a couple of months. I'm not sure when, but still, let me know in the comments down below because I love, do I love doing Q&As, plus they're fun to do, plus you guys get to know me more. And if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up, and again, comment down below if you want me to do another Q&A. And if you want to follow me on social media, I have Facebook on Last Rear, and I have Twitter and Instagram on Last Rear 19. I also have Goodreads, which I'll link down below. And if you don't want to miss any of my new videos, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!